This is a day in the life of a divorced dad. At 9 a.m., I wake up on my mattress on the ground. For breakfast, I grab my ketchup so I can put it on my first microwave potato of the day. I eat in silence next to my roommate, Gary. He moved in because I couldn't afford my mortgage. Every straight single adult male's roommate is unnecessarily hairy. Around 11 a.m., something strange happens. I have a feeling. I immediately bottle it up and ignore it forever. At noon, I look over some divorce documents while Gary loudly watches adult videos. For lunch, I eat another microwave potato. This meal is the only warmth I know. At two, I go through Instagram and DM college girls. I may be past my prime with no money, connections, sexual endurance, or personality, but... At 3 p.m., my shrew of an ex-wife drops off my failed son, Tyler. Me and her have a calm discussion about a few private matters. Some days, I don't know why I fought so hard for joint custody. Tyler wants to be a rapper. Man, I swear, my dad keeps testing me. I'ma turn around, tell the cops he molested me. Hey, he's starting to get pretty good. At 6 p.m., it's time for dinner. I put a potato in the microwave for three minutes. The skin becomes rough and wrinkled, much like me, burning hot on the inside like the rage left in me from the divorce. I offer half my potato to my son. No butter, no seasoning. He declines. Clearly, his mother has been spoiling him. I leave my ex-wife an angry voicemail about how she ruined my life. After a few hours of sobbing, I slip into a food coma. I will sleep here until morning. And that's my day.